What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dragon's Dogma, where you and I hang out for a little while with our fuzzy bottom boots and our apple bottom jeans. And actually, you guys missed a cutscene. Like, right when I came out of the house when I ended the episode, our lady friend ran off into the forest this way. So my assumption is that we're probably going to have to go over here and do some thrilling heroics. So let's be on our way, shall we? I've been spending the last couple days trying to learn how to blow smoke rings. It's a thing that I always wanted to learn how to do and just never did. I'm getting better at it. I can now with like one mouthful. I've been using, I got a, I got a vapor, I got a mod box basically that I've been using to learn how to do it. Where I put non-nicotine like juice inside of it. And it gives you all the fog you need in order to do it or all the mist you need to do it. And you get it real thick in your mouth. Then you make like an oaf shape with your mouth. You're like, whoa! And I can fire like seven of them in a row right now. And I had to brag to somebody. And I don't have anybody to brag to in real life about it. Because they'll all treat me like I'm an idiot. So please, YouTube, don't treat me about... You're going to treat me like I'm an idiot too, aren't you? God damn it. All right. This is the story of my life. Picking up kindling off the ground, chasing a girl through the forest, and having nobody to brag about my smoke rings to. Fine then. I just won't talk about what just happened right there. There's like some ghostly boxes over there. It's a little concerning. Where did she go? Oh no, there's a cave. Mm. It'll make me go inside of here and maybe die. This would be the point at which I'd be like, "Nope, she gone." Mm -mm. I've seen what happens at this point. I've seen what happens at this point in the horror movie. She's gone. Whatever. We're not going in there. We're gonna go in there, and then they're gonna be coming from the walls. They're in the walls every single time, and I just, I'm not okay with that. I, I don't like the fact that I'm a horror fan. I've seen a lot of horror stuff. Like I know the way that this is going to play out. And I just, I don't want to be a part. Where did she go? That's weird. Did you just loot my treasure? Damn it, Penella. Killing me right now. My game won't connect to the internet right now. I don't know what's going on. So we may just have to use like pre-programmed bots or something. I'm not really sure. The pawns might not be ones from the internet for the next day or two. Because every time I play the game, it starts up in offline mode. And when I try to make it not start up in offline mode... I think it's having trouble speaking to whatever server keeps all the pawns. I'm not totally sure. There's a treasure chest over here. Did we just pop out right back next to home? Huh. I bet we did. What is this? Ooh, harspud juice. Everybody loves the juice of a harspud. What the hell a harspud is, I'm not really sure, but apparently it makes my health come back, and we don't have that in real life. If we did, I'd be way more excited about getting sick. I mean, like, you, you mean to tell me that I get to drink a magical potion today in order to feel better? Which is basically what antibiotics are. It's magical potion. That's it. Every time I go to the doctor from now on, I'm thinking of everything they give me as magical potion. That's it. And every pill they give me is like a magical ether solidified. That's it. I'm done playing the game by scientific rules. I want it all to be magic again. That's like the general theme of adult life though, isn't it? Like when you're an adult, you start to realize, especially once you like learn stuff about stuff, and you start to realize how everything works, and you start to like connect the dots with chemistry and physics, it kind of ruins the magic. At least it did for me. I don't know. I think I liked the world better when I didn't understand it at all. And that sounds like a shitty thing to say. Like, but it was so much more mystical back then. Now it's just like, oh, it's atoms and ions and they're interacting and they're in a gaseous state. And it's just it's not as fun anymore. I thought I saw, did somebody pick up? Damn it. I thought I saw some treasure back up in there, but I guess I was wrong. There was no treasure up inside of here. Grab that with a quickness. And then it looks like maybe she came back to town. She just, like, bailed. Hey, guess what? Oh, I used to be able to run into them, and they dropped the pots and stuff, I think. Oh, it's not working. I wanted to shove him and make him drop his pot because he's an NPC. He's not a real human being. Well, thanks for that, me lord. All I wanted to do was carry my pot of mead around, and you done ruined it for me. You suck. You know that? You suck. Yes, thank you. So, what's going on? Kina is safe. Thank the Maker. Pray, forgive her. If she acts the fool, tis only cause concern overwhelms her sense. She's like you in that. Always setting off without so much as a thought. Most like the fault of ill parenting, which makes the blame mine then, eh? <laughs> Why do you carry around so many ropes? Are you, like, constantly worried there's going to be, like, a lynching at any moment? You'll be like, I got the rope! Like, you're just going to randomly hang somebody? Like, what well, you need so much rope for? I know he's a fisherman. Don't block my comedic knowledge. Don't don't block my comedic scholarship right now. Oh. I guess that was it. Well, she ran off into the forest, so hopefully she comes back at some point. What's up? The chief was put at ease. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I almost hit my own pawn. This is why I don't have a lot of friends in this world. The chief was put at ease. Oh, everybody says the same thing. Okay. That's cool. Whatevs. So now that we've knocked off that quest, I suppose the only thing that really remains is possibly for us to head back... I don't know. Maybe head back over and I think we've done just about everything around here. I mean, we can explore a little bit. There's lots of stuff up in the hills, like no doubt. But I don't know if I want this to be that kind of series where we run around just doing everything all the time. I honestly, I would defer to you guys. It's not going to be a full series anyway, so I'm not really sure why I'm still recording episodes. I have a problem with this. Is that like I sit down to fiddle with stuff and then I end up making like a thousand episodes. And it's, it's a personality flaw, I think. I'm too impulsive. When it comes to my series, I need to focus a little harder and think a little bit harder before I start one off. We go find nothing. Let's keep trucking. You don't need flask. You have plenty of flasks of water. What you need so many flasks of water for? Some of us can't afford to simply buy time. Okay, you can afford to buy your time. I'm broke right now. I can't do none of that shit. I gotta save in order to buy my time. I thought that was a child from behind. And it's just like a fully grown short man. That's pretty much all there is to it. I can empathize. I'm not that short. I'm 5'7", but that's still pretty short. Like, it's under average. The problem is that my grandma is 4'6", my mom is 4'10", and then my dad's 5'10". So I usually figure that I got the better end of the deal right there. It could have been a lot worse. I mean, I guess the intersection, 4'10", and 5', between 4'10", and 5'10", actually, I'm about halfway in between. Damn it! Uh, I didn't get the good deal. I got the median deal. And I just realized it on camera with all of you. This is deeply... Oh, did they already take the cart over? Okay, so we already activated that quest then. I kind of like our group right now, so I'll probably stick with it. I like who we have. Let's sell off some of our goods very quickly, because I don't like carrying around boatloads of stuff. Let us talk forever about upgrading your gear. We've got a restless... When did I pick that up? What? I've got a restless earring, or is that his? That's gotta be mine. The blue long kilt I'm not super infatuated with, so I'll probably just sell it. Like, I don't plan on using it anytime soon. I'm not a caster, so... We've also got Thunderclap, which is... Apparently a weapon for a fighter, who knew? Thunderclap. I can't equip it, but... Or, I'm sorry, it's not a weapon for a fighter. I thought it didn't have the little box right there. I'm bad at identifying things. I apologize. We definitely want to sell the bucket. And we probably want to do that right there, too, because it seems like it might be a little bit heavy. We're carrying around a full table with us. That's how badass we are. That's how, like, beefy and muscular we plan on being during this playthrough. Carrying around shit tons of... I bet there's a bunch of rocks and random stuff in here that I need to get rid of. I bet anything. Ceramic jugs, yep, those have got to go. The throw blasts we'll hold on to just in case we end up needing them. Got a half full lantern, the foreign knives, dragon spit we won't need right now. The rocks definitely should probably go. Don't think I'm going to use the periapt anytime soon. Got poison flask, which is kind of an odd acquisition. I don't know where I picked those up at. The skulls can go to. I'm just trying to keep my weight allotment down at the moment because I don't want to be walking around with a thousand tons of random shit on me. Which I always end up doing in this game. Like seriously, every single time I play this game, I end up with just absurd amounts of bullshit in my inventory. What does back fat oil do? Oh, you get stamina back? Okay. I don't see that as being incredibly helpful anytime soon. So what am I carrying around that's so damn heavy? I mean, I guess I can sell that. Nobody's going to end up using it. Actually, it looks like an archer can use it. So we might try giving that to our other character once she multi-classes up and gets better at her job. Might be workable. Might be. That's it, so... I guess so, what we got going on. I think I'm probably carrying around too many consumables or too many random pieces of equipment, but I can fix that too. It is easily repaired. Is drop it off at the inn, and then we'll be back out on some adventures, yeah? Who doesn't love adventures? I like adventures. Mm-hmm. 
I need to make a deposit. Yep, all of the deposits are mine. And we're back into lightweight allotment again. That would be one of those times where I would give my rallying cry of chickadee ho, which is the most exciting rally cry. I don't think she can use that right now, so I'm going to put it in there for later. Does Amaranth need to deposit things too? Can I even do that? Yeah, you want to throw some shit in here? Maybe lighten your load. Share the load a little bit. God, you were just carrying around all kinds of shenanigans, aren't you? Where are you getting this shit from? My god. I mean, it's fine, because we're going to need this stuff later. Like, it's all good. I'm not even, like, mad about it, but... She's got an extra knife. Okay, whatever. I will come again soon, because I have no other choice. Yay, we're speedier now! Alright, so our next journey is going to take us off to the west. We need to head on over. There's going to be a bridge over there that takes us into Grand Soren, which I think is the main capital. My knowledge of the game is pretty limited after that point. I remember a lot of the beginning of the game. And frankly... Problems, yep, you should think correctly. As frequently as possible. We should watch out for minerals and stuff. I think we're a little bit low on them lately. And I haven't been doing a super amazing job at chiseling away. And we're going to need lots of silver and lots of copper and other stuff later on. While we're adventuring. Uh, no rocks, though. I don't think rocks are going to be super helpful. I guess I'll keep it around, just in case I decide I want to rock around the clock tonight. But up until that moment. Oh, I know where we're going. Who's threatening to kill me? Somebody said kill them all. Who's trying to murder me right now? Show yourself, knave! I demand that you show yourself so that I might fight you. Oh, we're not playing. No! Stop biting. Oh, you set me on fire? God, talk about nuclear strategies here. No, no, no. Defeat are definitely not your hands. You need to learn your anatomy better. Ah, that's what I like to see. A little bit of the old stabity stab. Not nimble enough. How come how come nobody else jumps in and helps with this shit? Like, there's a hundred travelers on the road. Not a single one tries to help. Like, ah, well, you know, wolves are your problem. Let me guess. This guy's going to try and shoot me, right? Yep. He's a villain. And he shall be slaughtered like the villain that he is. Down he goes. Let's go ahead and get Primrose back up real fast. We could abandon this combat and just not participate in it because... It's very easy to get waylaid for like 30 minutes at a time in this game when there's lots of wolves and random stuff around. Like seriously, you can end up fighting random critters for 10-15 minutes at a time. Just randomly. And there's not a whole lot you can do about it in all fairness. Yeah, I'm going to combo out of this. I'm going to try and solve this problem early. I would rather not deal with it right now. Ooh, God, I love that ability. That is just the greatest. You should have Burst Strike. I'm trying to help you right now as a player. Burst strike or whatever the hell, it is the best. It is just absolutely fantastic. Doesn't cost that much stamina, gets the job done satisfactorily. I think we want to go this way. But there's a road that we should probably stay on in order to do it. I'm not really interested in looking around for treasure right now. I just want to accomplish things. Apples in the trees, you can hit them with your sword. See, they fall out of the tree when you hit them with the sword. I don't know if people knew about that, but... Yeah, it's an apple. It shouldn't look that interesting. It should be fairly commonplace, but the fact that you're excited about an apple makes me excited. So I'm going to go along. What the hell is this? I mean, I know what it is. It's a giant roasting cage. But, like, what function does it serve? What master dost thou claim? Go, speak aught. Be ye a fool? Getting in character right now. Sometimes you gotta get in character when you play a game like this. I think we actually just cut a corner. What we're trying to get to is that over there. But there is a place around here where there's like a goblin dungeon or something. There's like a there's like a low level dungeon around here that there's a bunch of goblins and random bad guys in. And you can make a ton of money and there's a bunch of gear and like random good stuff in there too. So we might want to go do that first before we go to Grand Soren. Just because... Oh, man, damn you, physics. 
Getting all Newton up in here. It also hates stabbing. I'm just trying to add to the conversation. That would be kind of funny if one of the people in your group was like, It hates stabbing! Like, this seems kind of obvious. Don't most things in the game hate being stabbed? See what I mean? There are a lot of wolves in this game. You can end up fighting wolves for a really, really, really long time. Luckily, we've got burst strikes, so chasing them down shouldn't be that difficult. We need to find the road. Where the hell did the road run off to? We're like out here. We're in the boonies. There it is. I knew we'd find it eventually. Uh, another one. Maybe that's what I was looking for. I think this might be the right spot. I remember there being like a little game trail or something like that and it leads back in. It leads wherever I say it leads because we're on adventures. Have no fear, little pawns. We shall stab and destroy until the night is through. Yeah, I think this is the right place. Let's see if I ooh, rift fragment. Yes, please. Ooh, you just got choked out by Panella. How do you feel right now? Every time I say Panella, it reminds me of Panera bread, and then I want soup and like some dope ass. I want some soup and I want some dope ass sandwiches. Although Panera bread is kind of overrated. Like I like Panera bread, but sometimes you go there and the soup selection sucks. Like, they had French onion for a while. And they got rid of French onion, and I haven't really forgiven them for it yet. Like, right now, I went there a couple days ago, and all they had... I Actually, I walked out. I didn't, there was nothing there that I really wanted. I walked in, looked at the menu, and kind of left. Basically, no, oh, you guys have no chance against me. Your guard shall be broken. But I'm broken. Slashing your shield. Cause you're a little goblin You're not strong enough Is that Evanescence? Hmm I don't know, I get all those Evanescence Leaves Eyes type bands confused It all sounds the same to me And that is a Hobgoblin A particularly large and nasty version of the goblins we've already faced I would love to catch a heel. That would be the best. Out here, I've caught a cold. I've caught an arrow. But what I haven't caught is a heel. Get on point, healer. Get on point. I used to be a healer. Everybody blamed the healer for everything. Everybody blames the healer for everything. I'm like, oh, look, the mob is running around killing DPSers nonstop because you didn't get aggro. But no, it's my fault. It's my fault. Everybody everybody, be like, why didn't the healer heal me when I took 30,000 damage from one hit and I only have 12,000 health? Clearly, this is somebody else's fault but mine. Indeed, I think we found our way. I love this game. It is just positively honeycombed with random little areas like this. And I think that's one of the strongest things about this game. Is that it does it in a way that even Skyrim doesn't. Because Skyrim forces you to go through like load screens and stuff like that when you go into random locations. Like this game is all seamless. Like you're just wandering around. You're like, oh, here's a cave. Oh, here's a little witch village. Oh, here's this other thing. And like you can get off the trail in this game and just end up accomplishing nothing for like hours. And then when you come back, you'll be, like, level 38, and you'll still be doing, like, the level 4 storyline quest. But, like, man, that got out of hand really, really quickly, didn't it? Like, yes, yes, it did. Yes, yes, it did. Is this where we came in from? Yeah, because that's going to be that rock that the skull was on the opposite side of. Nobody pick up that wormwood sap. Please don't. We need, like, a better lamp. Our lamp is, like, not carrying its weight right now. Keep on my man. I'll take the silver ore. The rocks are not going to be particularly useful, though. Use them to throw at stuff to get their attention. So if there's like a big monster and you wanted to get its attention, you could throw a rock at it. That's as far as I know what you use rocks for. I'm not like a master of Dragon's Dogma or anything, but that's what I assume it's useful for. How is it that I always get to these places where I'm exploring in the middle of the night? Every single time. 
Every single time. Let's follow this little side trail for a bit. Maybe we'll come back outside when it's light. I know there's a trail on the opposite side. We shall proceed carefully and as dry as possible. Perfect. Up the hill we go to do super awesome adventures. This is kind of a steep hill. Yeah, it's not the it's not the roughest location I've ever seen. Okay, so I think we gotta cross. Although where that will be possible, I couldn't say. I think I see debris right there. What's this? Ow! All right, that worked. Whatever. At least my torch didn't go out. Heal me! I love my followers. See, this is why I keep them around. Just goes to show, if you don't know where you're adventuring, use the splatter cat approach. Just launch yourself into the abyss and hope for the best. The man swallowing falls. All right, let's put the t let's put this thing away so that it doesn't get wet. Because we are definitely gonna get soaked coming through here. Not going to have much of an option. Bit late for that. And now we just have to hope that since we had the foresight to put away the lantern. There we go. Okay. We might be drenched, but at least our lantern's still working. I didn't want to put out our lantern when it was already dark as hell. The water god's altar. Huh. I didn't know that a water god was a thing, so I'm learning all kinds of fun facts today. Little bastards are everywhere. There you go. Play a game of hack-a-bat. Oh, there was a snake over there. There's a snake in my boot. Okay, not in my boot, but there's a snake on my floor. Coin pouch. Huh? Making that money in the dungeon. Some big ass rats. Holy shit, that's a big rat. That's like a raccoon sized rat. I don't know what I would do if I was faced with a rat that size. Like, what is the proper response and reaction? You know? Like, where do we go from here? Some greenware-ish. Whoa. Alright, gents. Oh, wow, we smashed the hell out of them. And by we, I mean Penella. Wow. Those skellies got rolled out on. I was a little bit worried about the undead, but apparently all of my fears were unfounded. Ooh, there's treasure back here. Hella treasure. I think we need the scrap iron for upgrades later on. Or, frankly, I could have upgraded my gear already, I think, with the guy that's back in the Palisade town, but haven't done it. Uh. Apparently, we're looking for a key, I guess. So let's have a look around for a key. Surely it couldn't be that difficult to find, right? Huh. Is there like a pumping system we can use to get the water out of it, or are we just like stuck this way? This side's not flooded. Which is good, because it holds treasure. And I love it when my treasure's not flooded. A demon's periapt. Okay. Look, guys, I blocked. Isn't it a miracle? No, he bit me on my backside. Oh. What's up, everybody? How are you doing? 
Unfortunately, we're fighting in a hallway. It's going to make this a little troublesome. Let's see if I can get rid of that tail. Make our lives slightly easier. We don't know how many are going to be in here, so I'd like to come into the room very, very slowly. Because the Saurians tend to add up on you. There they are. Let me get some health in here. I'm going to focus on the tails on these ones. All right, that tail's off. We got him frozen. Ooh, you got to stop eating spears like that. Penella taking damage that no human being could take. Good water gods. Come on, pile up with me. There we go. That was also satisfying. I just want to do that over and over and over again. Juggle combo! Oh, looky there. Oh, that's worse. Never mind then. They seem kind of upset about this. Why y'all so salty though? Oof. I've had better days. Oh, that worked great. Good for you. Yeah, let's keep them frozen as best we can. Do you want to build a snowman? I'm about to get real stabbed. Ow. I'd prefer not to do any dying right now, because that really would be bad. Huh, those apples were weirdly restorative. Yeah, I think I might be in over my head. I'm trying to get out of that group over there. Can't break this one's guard either. There we go. Get down. Another 440 XP right there. We done? We get them all? Okay. If they've all been taken care of, let me cure my poison issue. They're all poisoned, but I'm going to let them die because they get the cure for free anyways when they go down. So it'd be nice if we would end up with, what is this over here? A gentian leaf. I don't know what a gentian leaf does, but I think we're about out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Darkest, I'm not Darkest Dungeon, Dragon's Dogma. There we go. I know what game I'm playing right now. I'm not that cray cray. I will see you all in the next episode. Having a lot of fun playing the game. I'll probably just keep it going until I'm not having fun. That seems like a pretty good plan. So anyways, I've had a blast and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye everybody.